everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about changing the hamburger button color in both Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1. So if we flip over to the mobile version of this site, I'm currently in a template in the Brian family. So this may differ depending on which template you are on in Squarespace 7.0. But if you click up here and click on the mobile menu, You'll see we have a hamburger button right here. You can set the color of this in design, site styles, and then if you hover over top so it has this blue line around it, you're going to click. And you can see you have the mobile branding color and the mobile menu icon color here. So you can change this color right here. So I can change it to a blue just by changing this color set right here. Um, however, you may want to change it just on one specific page um, or you may want to have different colors for when it is open and closed. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So in design, you're going to go to custom CSS and copy and paste the code listed below this video for Squarespace 7.0. Okay, and you notice the color when the mobile menu is closed is red, and when I click it open, the X is also red. You can change that color just by changing the word red here. So I could change maybe it to blue when it's opened. So the X is now blue. Okay, so when it's closed, you're gonna change this color, and open, you're going to change this color. Now, if you only want this different on a specific page on the site, all you're going to do is add the collection ID before this code. You can do that with a Chrome extension called Squarespace Collection Block Identifier. It just pops up all the different collection and block IDs there, so you can copy that and just paste it before each of the codes here. And now this will be the color on my home page, but if I flip over to a different page, it goes back to the color that was originally set. If this is not working for you, you are not in maybe a Brian template family or it's just not working on your specific template, what you're going to do is hover over top of the hamburger icon and I have my site open here in Chrome with developer tools turned on. I'm going to right click and select inspect and you're looking for the class name that has the color. So underneath here is the HTML and underneath here is the CSS or the styles. So you're gonna scroll up until you get to a line that still has the uh, hamburger button highlighted. So you'll notice if I go a little bit higher, it ends up highlighting different sections. So here it's still highlighting the hamburger button and I'm gonna click on it. And I'm scrolling to find where the color is. So here, mobile, bar, menu stroke and this is the color. So you're gonna look for that on your template and then just take this code and change the stroke to a different color. And you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing when you have it open and it's an X. You're going to right click and select inspect. Find the line that still has this highlighted. So that would be this one. And I notice here is the class that I'm going to use and here's the color right here. For Squarespace 7.1, I'm gonna click to my mobile menu here. This is set also in design for the theme that it is on. So under design, colors, section theme, You'll notice that the theme of this header is light minimal. So I'm gonna click the pencil icon by light minimal. And I am looking at the navigation links in the header. That's the color that's going to be set here. However, you might find that different themes, maybe you don't like the color, or if you have a transparent header um, and you're using a uh, picture on certain pages, maybe that just isn't very visible. So what you're going to do is go to design custom CSS and if you want the color set across the whole site um, both in the open and closed menu then you're going to copy and paste the 
code below this video for set the hamburger button color site wide. Okay, and it's a little bit hard to see, but it has changed it to green. You change it to maybe a brighter color here, red. So now it's changed it both in the open and closed versions of this site. If you want different colors when it's opened and closed, then you're going to copy and paste the code below this video for set different colors for when mobile menu is closed and open in Squarespace 7.1. And you'll notice here the color when the mobile closed is red, but if I open it up, the color is blue. So you can change the words red and blue to match the colors you like. If you only want any of this code to happen on one specific page, same as Squarespace 7.0, you're going to add the collection ID in front of the code. You can do this with the Squarespace collection block identifier, or you can produce the code to find it yourself. And you're just gonna stick it in front here and here. And now this is the color set on my homepage, but if I click over to a different page, you'll notice the color is back to how it was. And that is how you set a hamburger button color in both Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1.